Rome. Forget the heritage, history, and beauty. The Eternal City is also Radio City. Turn on and tune in. Football fans on the go can choose from at least seven radio stations devoted to discussing the affairs of Roma and Lazio all day long, seven days a week. Probably Romans are the people who spend the most time in traffic. And I think football radio stations play a key role in helping people not lose their minds at every traffic light. Do you know how many times people tell me I was stuck in traffic and both the car on my right and the one on my left were listening to your show? It's satisfying. Riccardo Angelini is the host of one of the most popular programs dedicated to the Giallo Rossi. 2021, buongiorno, buongiorno a tutti, benvenuti. On the frequency band of Teleradio Stereo, he's the undisputed king, sharing the fans' irreverent spirit and passion for in-depth analysis. Il mio motto è... My motto is work seriously, but don't take yourself too seriously. We're not saving lives here. Roma is the common ground where we all meet, where we show our love. Piazza Roma is my morning show. It's like a gathering with the audience. Every morning we choose which turns to take, always keeping in mind our respect for the audience. Sometimes people call the show and say, hello to everyone who's listening. Ah, so they're listening to you now. And I thought they tuned in for us. So the audience takes over. For 13 years, Renzo Gianantonio was the Stadio Olimpico presenter at Lazio home games. Today, he does live commentary at Radio Radio and has been able to take his love for his club to the airwaves. From the mid-80s and throughout all the 90s, in Italy we had the rise of the supporter commentator. They shouted, they didn't care about hiding their loyalty. I found myself plunged into this world and I found it very similar to what I had been listening to at the stadium. So it was easy for me to go from the stands to behind the microphone and become a commentator. It came natural to me. Now that I'm in my 40s, I've become a lot calmer. But few fans can be calm in the days leading up to and in the days following the derby between Roma and Lazio. In Derby Week, the fans just want to hear about the Derby because we all experience it with a special intensity. Right now, if you ask a fan if they'd prefer Roma to win the Scudetto or Lazio to drop to Serie B, a lot would say Lazio in Serie B. This shows you how much this match means to us. You can lose games, but you can't lose to Lazio. Never. Taking calls on the show is like a session with a psychiatrist or taking part in Speaker's Corner in Hyde Park is a radio classic. If the team's doing okay, people are quite happy and you hear tactical analysis. If the club's doing great, then you'll have a euphoria. But it gets really spicy when things go badly. If Roma's not doing well, Lazio fans will tune in on Roma radios and the ratings of Lazio radio stations will plummet. The fans' colourful presence will be missed at the Stadio Olimpico on Friday night. But the supporters can make themselves heard in the air of this ancient city, ahead of a match of matchless emotion. I'm afraid they'll win. I really am. I see. It'll end in a draw. You know I've said this, just not to jinx it. Immobile. Derby week is all about winding each other up in typically Roman fashion. Social media is full of it, but the best comments come from the fans of the winning team. After suffering for 90 minutes, they come up with a brilliant one-liner. 
they can become a catchphrase for weeks. And that's a unique kind of pleasure. A catchphrase or a tune, like the one Angelini came up with when Lazio's Paolo Negro scored an own goal in a derby in the year 2000. Sotto la curva nord, proprio al derby, un autorete Paolo Negro, signore.